Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we are with the Night Gaunts. We are going to finish up the attack to the south. Um, we're going to go after the main uh, the main guy in the south here. Hopefully take out, take out the uh, chain of command and um, uh, be done with the uh, the warlord down here today. But before we start that, let's go to the mech bay real quick. Welcome to the grease pit. So, uh, over the past couple days, I pulled off a couple of missions with these guys just because I wanted to check out what the new um, lamb rules were like. Uh, I didn't want to kind of go in, you know, um, kind of half cocked with this. So, I have a good idea how the, uh, the wasp lamb works. We're going to run that today just so you can see what it's like. I'm not, a, I don't know, I, I'm kind of up in the air with the new rules on it. I understand why they made the changes, and I think. Um, realistic wise i think it works better but the way the rules are now i don't think the lambs have the flexibility that they had in the past where you don't have a lot of tonnage on them and you know so you have to you know figure out what your loadout's going to be you yes you can jump you know a good dis distance away across the map that's great um, but you don't have a big loadout but now it's like you don't have that option so, and you'll see what I mean when we get into battle. But um, I made a couple changes to the max. We, we made a couple of minor adjustments here. Uh, so, in the last battle, the mislinks, we lost one of our um, uh, clan LRM5s. So, um, in the, the couple battles that I ran, uh, I just did like half skull defend, ba defend base missions just because I wanted to just test it out. And I knew we weren't going to take any damage that way. And we didn't. Um, so, I, um, because the Mislink only has three LRM5s left, I, I've changed the loadout on the Mislinks, the Mongoose. Uh, the Mongoose is running really hot, so uh, it's because of the Clan ER Large. So we've, we've swapped a couple things around. So let's have a first look at, first look at the, uh, the uh, Kit Fox here. So we made a couple minor adjustments to it. I put the LRMs in this guy, along with the Rocket Pack 10 and ER Large Laser. So this guy's going to be our long-range fire support. It's got a uh, fire control system flak in it. Gives uh, two evasion pips ignored, bonus chance for critical hit, minus recoil, which doesn't really matter for us. But I dropped the LK ammo in. So he's running fairly heat efficient. Um, as long as we're not moving around too much, we can fire everything and not have a problem. The Rocket Pack 10 we're going to keep from when we have a good shot. Um, and then we'll fire it off. It's got pretty good damage. 60 damage overall is, isn't bad if we hit with everything. But it is minus one accuracy, so we'll just have to make a make do with the best we can. we got five five salvos. So hopefully we can land some of those. Now, um, so that's this guy. Then we we're going to have a look at the uh, mislinks here. So we lost a clan. We lost two of our clan double heat sinks off this guy. So we can't run what we had before because I had to take the, the double heat sink kit out because we don't have enough double heat sinks to be able to fix it, right? So I've kind of set up a build here that I think kind of works okay. So I took out the SRM sixes that we had on the. Um, Kit Fox and put them in here because they're lower on heat, but I don't have regular ammo. I'm going to use tandem ammo and I'm going to use inferno ammo. Uh, the tandem ammo basically bypasses the armor on the outside and does damage directly to internals. So we're going to look to get some critical hits with this and we're going to look to overheat people with this as well because we've got a medium uh, or a, a clan uh, flamer on the side and a medium laser as well, plus an ECM. So I mean, it's not running all that well. Uh, heat wise a little bit over but um, you know we can make do with what with by cycling out the medium laser or whatever you know we'll be just fine I did pick up some patchwork materials uh, off camera so I dropped those in here just so that we could bump the armor up to pretty much max here well it is max but we bumped it up to max we're just a little bit underweight but that's not a big deal so that's the miss links and then let's have a look at the mongoose so the mongoose is running super hot so I changed this around a bit it still runs hot um, but not as as bad as it was. So before we had a ER large, ER medium, and ER small. Now we've got three ER mediums and an ER small. Um, gives us a little better chance to hit overall. We do still have the AMS in here, and I was able to drop one extra heat sink in, um, which is good because we you know we need to balance out the heat a little bit. So 68, 66. We should be able to run uh, a fair bit. And I upgraded the uh, probe in here. We had a uh, what do we have last time? Um, just an active probe, I think. I up updated it to the blood, blood, Bloodhound probe. Uh, it's just slightly better. Increased sensor range and sight range. So this guy's our main scout vehicle anyway. So 
that works out pretty well. Um, and then uh, the Shadowhawk stayed, or the, sorry, the Griffin stayed the same. And the Wasp, uh, we did have um, a medium laser and a Streak 2 on here. Now I've got a Clan ER small laser, which is about the same range, a little less damage, but it's about the same as a regular medium laser. Uh, and an SRM-6 with a ton of ammo. So it's a little bit, you know, and we've got an Angel ECM in here as well. So we've got a little bit extra firepower, uh, but our movement isn't really as good as what it was. So uh, we've got gyro defense in here, uh, which gives us extra defense and um, uh, bonus evasion pips from movement and stuff. So, you know, hopefully we can get that working. Um, I did manage to pick up a clan Ultra 10 off of uh, Urban Mech, believe it or not. Uh, between the last episode and this one and some Ultra 10 ammo. So we can run Ultra 10 again once we get a, a mech to be able to do that. Um, we've got a pair of them. So I'm hoping maybe we can find like a, a like a low-end Rifleman or a, even like a Blackjack or something would even work, I think, if we can get two Ultra 10s in there. be kind of devastating. Um, and then we got a couple of other components. But the, the major thing that we did pick up, um, and the reason why I'm not going really with a full-out LRM boat, um, is because we picked up a Hunter. Uh, and this one is the LRM-20 version with a flamer. So um, we got a double load of LRM ammo with this, which isn't bad. It gives us about 13 turns of firing, 14 turns of firing. Um, so we have got we do have an LRM boat. And the Striker does have an LRM-10 on as well. So, all right, let's get into battle here. All right, guys, so it looks like the local Warlord has decided to make a break for it. So we are going to chase him down and uh, remove him from the picture. So, let's get moving. Looks like we got some guys here in between us and him. we we'll take them out at the same time. Roger. So, I'm going to hold off on the uh, thing here for a second. Receiving. The lamb. I'll show you what it, what it can do. Oh, we got somebody here. What's this guy? Vehicle. Um, chances are it's not going to get initiative on us. So, let's get up to take a I shot at it. The so, the wasp lamb, you've got land air mech mode. Um, it's in mech mode right now, so it'll move like a normal mech. So it's got a 160 core in it. You can change the core now, so it's got a 160 core. So the speed isn't too bad at full sprint. Uh, it's a little slow for a 20, uh, 30 ton mech, uh, but it's not that bad. But then if you go in, I'm going to go into uh, lamb mode. As you can see here, it lifts off. So now basically it's just like an aircraft. So now we can basically fly up. So you're not. It's, there's no. Um, no jump jets needed because it'll they basically jump jets of its own. So now I can just fly along like a uh, like a uh, regular VTOL mech. It's got about the same movement um, as it would if it wasn't in uh, VTOL mode. So, but the other, the other thing is is that we can just fly up and land anywhere, right? Because you're not actually landing anywhere. It's it's above the ground. It's hovering above the ground, right? It's like a helicopter. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, not totally what I was expecting. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's not bad. I we'll take it. All right, we'll get our vehicles up here. And the Hunter, we're going to move up, I think, to like right here. It's our, L it's our LRM mech, or LRM unit right now, so that's where he's going to sit. All right, looks like it's our turn. Blade's going first. Got something you want done? Yeah, I want to get on, uh, I don't know what these vehicles are here. What's this guy? Copperhead. One missile and a damaged ballistic. And this is another Copperhead missile and ballistic. Uh, let's go one at a time. Let's just move into here. going to leave the rocket pack off for now. I don't think we're going to need it on these guys. Yeah. Vehicle down. You got that right. Ready for orders. All right, buddy. We're gonna get right on this one too. On my way. Double time. Gonna chase these guys down. Take them out as fast as possible. Engaging. Ooh, he's panicked already, eh? Ooh. Saladin. Whoa. I think we got to shoot on that Saladin.
Yeah, it's got an AC-20 on it. No armor. Maybe, maybe we can take it out. Let's just fire on him. Yep. Yep, Commander. Choose your targets wisely. All right, moving into range here. So the lamb's got its benefits. I mean, if you're in rough terrain, you know it. You know, I think it works pretty good, but it, it's really a trade-off. Like you're you're losing a little bit of firepower for a bit more mobility. And I guess it would be the same with jump jets. The only difference being is that this is not using any heat that I can tell. At least it doesn't seem to be using any additional heat. But then this guy barely generates any heat anyways, right? So... Alright, Rose. Let's get up here. Moving out. Let's get those SRMs on this guy here. Oof. Pilot bailed out. Nice. Cobra Armored Recon. What do we got? Mobile turret. Looks like these guys were severely um, depleted here. Order. I mean, we did we did attack most of their reserves, so... Get the LRM on this guy. These guys are losing all confidence real quick, which is good. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. So I don't know what we're dealing with with this mobile turret. Firing on target. Orders. So my goal with the uh Oh yeah, we got to jump one on this guy. Wow, what? You can basically jump up and down and that's it, huh? Okay. Uh, so my goal with these, with this new, like, Lance layout is back. to use the, uh, the, uh, Mongoose and the, um, the, uh, Arctic Cheetah as the flankers Run. left and right. And the Griffin will go down the center with the, uh, su fire support from the Kit Fox in the middle back with the, uh, two vehicles. I mean, it's obviously not always going to work that way, but... All right, let's get over here. See, it's just kind of a little weird, you know? We can't switch back at the end of our movement either. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Let me get that turret. I wonder if it's a turret using a uh, using an AMS on, to help protect this thing. Got it's a possibility. Full speed, no target. Oh no, we got a target. We got a target right here. Engaging target. Huh. Three. I wonder if he's got an ATM. Yes, Commander. So I'm going to try, uh, as we're playing, uh, I know Anthony mentioned, maybe just uh, with these guys, whenever there's clan gear that shows up in the uh, loot table, we kind of have to go for that first. Sort of, re re it's the reclaiming our birthright idea, which I think is kind of a cool idea. So I think with our clan units, we'll try and take all clan gear first. And then whatever's left over, we'll take. Based on, you know, what we need. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's go with Slingshot. Go. So as you can see, this guy is definitely running a lot cooler Roger than he was that. before. Doesn't quite have the firepower punch, but... Um, Acknowledged. 
uh, definitely runs a lot cooler. Standing by. Confirmed. We just need to get some clan double heat sinks. That's the one thing we need right now. Fire. Nice. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. All right, let's get this leader. I'm your spaniel. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to uh, ground mode, and we're gonna run up here. On my way. Double time. Seems we can move slightly farther, and then we'll just fly down over this way. Kind of nice that it kind of gives you that option, you know. The lamb mode is kind of interesting. It's definitely a way different dynamic than the uh, last version, where it's like you, you know you can jump across the map and end up behind the enemy. Now it's just like a normal mech with, you know, alternative movement capabilities. You got that right. I just wish it um, had a little bit more movement than it normally, than it does right now, but, you know, whatever. Alright, let's get on this guy. Ready to get it on. Going full I mean, for that matter, we could just stay, you know, grouped up here and, and shower him with LRMs till he dies, but... That's not fun. AMS is only going to work once, buddy. Kind of worried about his firepower, so we're going to not expose until everybody's available. Um, I mean, we could do it with the griffin because it does have more armor let's do this and we'll see if we can get a tag on with the griffin okay we got sight on now we have no idea what he's got though all right fire it all i think we're hitting him from the right wait we're hitting his left side because I think his right side's got all his good gear. Oh, he's flipping his sides now. I wonder what he's shooting. I can't, I don't think that's an ATM. Yeah, see, like, it gives us so many options here, right? The ability to just, like, be wherever, you know? Same as the VTOL, it's like, you know, you get you, you can just be wherever you want. Firing on target. It's so weird to have a small laser firing farther than, a, than an SRM too. It's just bizarre. Commander. Okay, he's already gone. So let's get in with a solid line All here. Right, let's move. Okay, he's unsettled. I'm just gonna shoot, I'm not gonna even bother moving, there's no point. Nice. Who do we got first here? What's up, boss? Alright, Blade. Let's cut this guy, Blade. Alright, I think we're gonna do um got a good chance to hit here. Gotta throw the rockets up. Uh offensive push. And I think we're going to try for this leg here. Sweet. Ooh, where did we get him? Arm, um, MML3, yeah. Well, we'll find out. Mission successful. Alright, let's see what we got here. Pretty much no damage to us. Um, two Cobras, Copperheads, Mobile Turrets, Saladin. Ah, really? Diverse objects. Heavy rocket launcher 20. 
We've already got one of these, but having two of Oh, laser AMS. We'll take that. Yes, please. We got a terrible uh oh tag barrage. Which you never got a chance to use. Compact heat sinks. Fuel cell. Missile range. Okay, this is a little better than the ones we had in the past. 15% increased missile range. We're gonna grab that. Um anything else? Sensor missile range, 20% missile range. Ooh. Having two of those tactics support B. Alright, let's get rid of the rocket launcher. I'm just grabbing the components that are going to be difficult to uh, find later on. Tactics support B is obviously one of them. Um, the AC-20 ammo, no big deal. Blah. Alright, that's actually not bad. We got five items that we can definitely go ahead and use right away. Alright, we got, what, four copperhead pieces and a saladin piece. So we can put the, one of these guys together and probably just sell it. Uh, AC-20 Federated. This is the bonus crit damage one, eh? Recoil of one, 15% jam chance though. Mitigated by gunnery. Plus 50% through armor critical chance. Yeah, maybe we'll hold on to that. The right light medium rifles can go, the machine guns can go. We'll hold on to the compact heat sinks as well as the uh, the engine core for now. That can go. Standard can go. Cooling can go. Structure can go. And the AC-20 can go, but uh, our ammo can stay, I mean, but the light rifle ammo can go. Alright guys, well, it seems we weren't up against the uh, enemy commander. They uh, sent out a decoy, which we took, and uh, the real leader decided to take off with his remaining units and make his way south along the coastline through a mountainous region. Um, we had a couple of uh, informants let us know where he was off to. So we took our dropships and and uh, or tar took our dropship and dropped ahead of him. So we've landed and we're going to attack him here along the coastline. Um, hopefully this will be it and we'll finish these guys off now. Uh, but uh, just on a side note, as far as the game goes, I've been having severe issues with Rogue Tech doing this to me, dropping in with no textures, and I've been trying to restart the like I just like reload the game and then it crashes out then I got to come back in restart everything and it takes a long time to do so for this battle I'm not going to bother reloading with textures because I'm just getting not fed up with it but I'm getting just tired of sitting around waiting for the thing to load properly so we're just going to go ahead and, and go without it so we got to get down off this mountain I think we can get there's a hill here right I think we can get down this way I'm pretty sure so we're going to maneuver along here now we left the left the wasp land behind. Oh, they looks like they've got a lamb here too. That's I guess going into lamb mode. All right, gonna get up here as fast as we can go. Um, all right, so the Arctic cheetah, or sorry, the Miss Lynx, mongoose. Then our vehicles, I think we might leave them up here on the hill as long-range fire support. Moving to position. Yeah, I don't know why it loads with no textures. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, come on. You're going to keep... Good to go. Yeah, I mean, it, Rogue Tech is still buggy. So, I mean... It is what it is, right? Okay. What do we got here? Ultralight Mars Carrier. Let's see if we can knock that out quick. Oh, well, maybe I should change my target to the... Uh so I gotta lower this on my headphones. I'll try and make sure I lower it when we uh, when I re when I uh, edit it. But uh, maybe we should try and kill the lamb first, so that at least the sound goes away. I hate running through these spore clouds, but it's got to be done. Let's try and kill this guy. Yep, nice. Quick kill, gotta love it. All right, gatekeeper, we need to get close. Oh, that's not well. That's our tag. 
Actually, I think I should go... No, that's fine there. Look at that pink. We're so confident we're going in super pink so that they can see us. Yes, Commander. All right, buddy. Um... Let's get down here. So I think what I might do is those uh, missile range things we picked up. Um, got bolt-on incendiary rockets in this guy. So the missile range that we picked up the uh, um, the last battle. We'll probably drop it on the uh, two SRM boats here. Give us increased SRM range. I might put them both on the Griffin though. Just because we got four SRM sixes, it might definitely like an extra 35% range plus the tactics extra bonus tactics on it to help out well I don't know if that'll help out with clustering or not but I think I think we'll benefit the most from it a tag barrage I don't know yet we might be able to stick it up maybe the mongoose I don't know miss links I'm not really sure yet Come on, figure out what you're doing. Who do we have up here? Urban Mech R6. And a flea. It's so weird, now that I've got uh, support lances turned off, or I've, I've had it the entire series, we don't get a support lance when we drop. Um, well, that guy's just gonna sit there, eh? I'm by me. Get up and get a direct line of sight on him. Um, the enemies that we get per mission are just so random. Like, sometimes it can be really tough. Wow. Solid connection, that one. Um, and then other times, they're just really, really... we got to kill that guy. Really, really easy. Commander? You know? It just really depends on... Um, let's get into here. It's all roll of the dice, right? We, we just have no idea how, like, how good or bad our enemies are going to be. Hopefully we can kill this guy now. Get rid of the sound. Confirmed. Yeah. That is something good. What if the AI is confused? Maybe they don't know what to do with the, the current lamb. Waiting for order. That's highly possible. It's very highly possible that the AI doesn't understand the land air. And it's just confused. Alright, let's finish him up. Oh, really? Reporting critical hit. That wasn't a kill, eh? Trooper. It's a trooper. Systems holding. What's up, boss? Heading out. Can't let this guy slip away, so let's just finish him up. Locked on. There you go. Sound One returns to, to normal. Commander? I didn't want to have to core him, but I kind of had to. Okay, let's get on this I'm trooper. Going. Gonna use a tandem ammo on this guy, I think. Blow straight through him. Um, so we got tandem up. Beautiful. I've only got six turns of firing with tandem ammo, so... Acknowledge. Ooh, nice. Pilot hit. Yeah, this guy's definitely going to benefit from having the uh, extra range with the SRMs. He's just not as fast as everybody else. Alright, Pooper's gone. Well, they, they got, what, two Urban Max left? They do. Well, this was quick. Standing by. Once again, you never know what you're going to get, you know, until you get to get into the battle. Wait, you can't get down there? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, maybe you can, it's just that this is the extent of your movement. Probably, yeah. 
Commander. You're out of range too, huh? Alright, well, keep moving forward. They got the height advantage, so... Oh, I think he's got a regular AC-20. Now I don't know which guy's scarier. He's got the AC-20. And he's got all the rocket packs. I think the rocket packs are... You. A lot scarier, I think, than the AC-20. Moving out. Only because, like... If the AC-20 has a low chance to hit... Um... Oh, it's got a medium rifle. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. But the AC-20's got a low chance to hit. There's a very low chance it's going to do a lot of damage. But definitely the uh, the rockets will definitely do damage for sure. All right, let's just get you in. Get into striking distance here. Herbies can't move very far, so we're just going to, like... get to a position where we can do damage against this guy and we'll worry about the other guy after. There goes his leg. Target. FML! Now we do have parts in storage to put together an urban mech. Um, in one of my off-camera battles I picked up a uh, uh, urban mech 2c cha uh, single piece of an urban mech 2c chassis i think the only time we would ever put together an urban mech to use it would be if it was a clan urban mech but the other ones we might just sell uh just tag the tag the leg no maybe we won't we've got turn we've got two lerms left so waiting for orders see if we can get into range here yep moving out yeah, it's so annoying not having textures, but I don't. I just don't have the time to keep reloading the game. Roger that. Unfortunately. Order. You know, if I was if I was just like if I didn't have to go to work every day and I didn't have family stuff and I was just doing this every single day, then yeah, I'd have no problem constantly reloading. But I just don't have the time, unfortunately. Yeah, we gotta get you. Okay, you're giving us your other leg. That's great. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate that. Okay, that other urban mech is so far out of the battle. Commander. Yeah, we're still safe here. Let's get up close. Affirmative. This mongoose has got some pretty good uh, chances to hit most of the time. I'm gonna OP this guy and see if we can pull this leg. Target confirmed. Nope. Reporting negative damage. Standing by. Just gonna walk it over here. See what our chance to hit is, and then uh, maybe we just try and target the leg too. It's actually not that bad. Let's just take it. See if we can claim this leg. Doesn't have much doesn't have much left on it. Roger. Oh, we got it, didn't we? Yep, we did. Both legs destroyed. Beautiful. That's a kill. Orders. Alright, let's just get down to here. Moving to position. Yeah, we got to get you up into striking range. We got to be able to just like crest the hill, see the guy, and blow him up before he has a chance to do anything. I think. Oh, you can see us. I don't think he shot all of them. Zero from maybe he did. Zero from one twenty hit. Maybe he did all right, shoot them all. Let's move. Maybe he figured that was the only chance he had. He's got it. Yeah, that's it. He shot everything. Acknowledged. That's it for him. Commander. Getting the missile range. Full speed. Firing on target. 
Yeah, it's really sad that we can't uh, change these vehicles up a bit, but I'm okay with that. It'd be nice to be able to at least change the ammo type. Like, not the loadout, but the ammo type, you know? Alright, might as well stay on the shore. Get a little bit more speed that way. Let's get this guy. Um. Understood. Moving sure. Back. Let's get right on him. Although you know, if I had a if I had a a crap ton of clan uh, LRM fives, this urban mech, you just load it down with LRM fives. See ya. Cause I think those rocket twenties are two tons, and it's got rocket twenties. I think it's got a couple fifteens, which are one and a half tons, and rocket tens. So I mean. What's better? Let's go Inferno, because why not? Firing. There we go. Tango and that down. warlord is gone. Mission successful. Okay, let's see what we get here. Not a lot to choose from, I don't think. I know there's probably that wasp lamb part. Uh urban mech parts. This is the, oh wait, the R20 is the rocket version, right? You might choose those pieces. He's got, oh yeah, only one last Wasp Land version, so. Gonna choose a couple parts of that, and Mars, it does, it's 10 tons. Uh, area effect damage within 60 meters of impact. Six area effect damage to units in radius. Weapons carries five salvos. I don't know. Ten tons, though. It's like... Anything down here? Nothing really down here. Yeah, like... Wow, there's like really nothing. 60 cores. I don't think we've got one of these, so I'm going to grab one. Because if we decide to put that rocket Irby together... You know what? We're not going to do that. Let's grab a pair of rocket launcher 20s. Wait, rocket 20s? This is one and a half tons each. It's a single shot. I thought they were two tons. Oh, you know what it is? I'm, I'm thinking about the heavy rocket launcher 20. That's what I'm thinking about. Right. Okay. All right, flea part, ultralight carriers, two of them. Uh, we got the extra R20 part. Not that it matters, but uh, we can lose this. We can lose that. Lose that. I'll hang on to the 60 core. We'll hang on to that. We've got lots of jump jets. Primitive sensors can go. Structure can go. And the medium rifle stuff can go. All right, well, we'll keep this. All right, let's quickly go to the mech bay here, have a look and see. We got the uh, um, the Anubis back too, so it's a 30 tonner. We're gonna see what we're gonna do with this. Not quite sure yet what we're gonna put on here. It might be a replacement for the mislinks or the mongoose. Not sure yet. Most likely for the mislinks, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's got a Guardian ECM already in it. A couple of lasers. But I gotta replace the core and everything, so it's gonna be a little bit before we get that going. So let's go to the storage here real quick. So we've got enough to put a Jenner together. We've got enough to put ooh copperheads we can put together. Uh, where's the urban mech that we just got? Uh, let's just go ahead and scrap the ultralights. Let's go ahead and scrap the flea. Uh, pirate wasp, we'll hang on to because there might be some parts in that when we assemble it to be 
half decent. Now there should be... Did we not get three parts of an urban mech? Oh, here we go. Take three parts from storage. Let's have a look at this guy. Yeah, this is the rocket version, so... Yeah, it's got nothing. But, what is it? Like, that's a lot of rocket, like, missile points. So it had... Rocket 20, Rocket 20, Rocket 20, Rocket 20, Rocket 20. Wow, six Rocket 20s and a couple of small chem lasers. So one and a half tons each times six is nine tons. Plus the chem lasers are what, half a ton each? Chemical, chemical ammo is one ton. Had a jump jet too, eh? Quarter ton for the chem lasers. And a jump jet, so that's another two, so we had like 11 tons. Well, it says here 15 tons available because we have to add a core and everything, but I mean, everything's primitive, but like that could, like, the clan LRM-5s are like, like one ton each, so one, two, three, four, five, six tons of LRMs. You know, it's not a bad little LRM mech, but we're not going to keep it. I'm just going to trash this guy. But that's the kind of thing, like, you know, it'd be nice if you start, like, had an urban mech start, and you started off with one of these guys. You could really, like, it's all primitive, so it's like, you know... Every, every little piece that you get, like regular armor, you know, an engine, um, like a like a regular, like standard engine you'd have to replace this with, and then all the standard gear in here. It could, like, much like the uh, Archer we had in the last uh, series, it could be one of those mechs that you could just really, really spend your time tweaking out and making it actually half decent for a 30-ton urban mech, you know? It could totally be done. But we're not going to do it in this series. So let's go ahead and scrap this guy. We're not going to get a lot for it. What do we get? 47,000? Well, better than nothing. We're on our way to getting a, another dropship so we could drop more than four mechs. I want to see if we can get up to six or eight mechs uh, relatively quickly, but I don't, know how, I don't know how quick that'll be, but we'll see. So I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Next episode, we'll finish up the Dragon Rejects in the north, and then we'll have taken out two full Warlords and have a half-decent set of territory. All right, so until next time, we'll see you all later.